So let's get started. What are we doing today? We're going to do some like barricades. Um, I'm going to do two different kinds of barricades. Like uh, one of them is like a bunch of spears sticking out of the ground. That'll be the first one I do here. And then the second one, I'm going to do uh, like some boards set up between two posts, almost like a, a gate of sorts. So here we're starting out with a, uh, a piece of XPS foam and what I'm doing is I'm just shaving it down so that it looks like a mound of dirt. And then I'm going to take these uh, skewers, these bamboo skewers, and I'm going to make spears out of them that I can stick into the, in, into the soil. Now, before I stick them into the soil permanently, I want to uh, texture it a little bit, make it a little rocky looking. And that's the first thing I do is there is I just uh, add a little bit of texture to it. And then I take these skewers that I've made and I'll just cut the length and I stab them into these little holes here and different angles. So it looks like it was like put up to stop horses or... Um, just create a barrier so you can't quite get to the guys on the other side. Now I'm using Mod Podge uh, with my black paint here. Thank you, Black Magic Crafts. And uh, just covering the whole thing. Give it like a nice priming base coat. Gives it some protection and provides it with a nice, uh, nice dark coat to start with. And then I'll go back and I'll... Uh, use some other paints to uh, make it a little brown like for dirt and stuff on the bottom here that'd be my base coat for my dirt and then uh, on top of that Mod Podge priming coat I guess is what you would call it I'm just gonna go over the whole thing in this brown uh, this is an espresso brown I think uh, craft smart paint any, any uh, cheap acrylic paint will do for this part now once I get that uh, on and it's dried, I'm going to go back over it with a light dry brush of a slightly lighter brown. Just to see what it looks like, see if, you know, if I like it. And then for these uh, spikes, I went back over them because they were a little too dark and put a lighter brown on them as well, more solid color. This isn't a dry brush, this is a full on brush making them look more like wooden stakes. And then I wanted to add some accents. So I took the Citadel skulls and I wanted to put them in. So what I did is I cut off the tips of these bamboo skewers, applied a little bit of um, super glue to the tip of them. And then I put the skulls on the top of those tips and then I can just press them down into the foam there. It makes it a little easier for them to hold in the place and stuff, I think. You could probably just super glue them directly on. I just think this is probably a little bit more stable. And here I am just pressuring them into the corners there, so give a little bit of accents to the, uh, to the barricade. And then uh, once I got that done, I went ahead and you can see I'd already done some painting, but I forgot to press the play button. But I, I took some red paint for add blood to the tip of those and dripped it down a little bit and then at the end here I'm going back over the uh, the skulls with a bone white uh, Vallejo paint and then I decided I wanted it to look a little bit lighter than that and I went over it with us I think I used a suede and that gave me my first barricade now for my second barricade, I start out with the same process. I uh, get a chunk of this XPS foam and then I just start shaping it into a, a mound of dirt, just like I did with the first one. And here you can just shave it off, taper it down on the edges. I think it's important to take those corners off too. Make it rounded. Now after I did that I wanted to create two posts that are going to go into the ground here. Stick them in and see what that looks like. And then I took these coffee stirrers and um, yeah, just 
cut them so they're wide enough to go between those two posts. And then, you know, even them up a little bit more. And then I went back with my uh, X-Acto knife and rag made the edges look a little raggedy. You know, like they've been sitting there for a while. Old boards have been torn at or broken off. And this is actually a little fun part of the, the process. I did this in one of my earlier videos. It sort of escapes me now which one it was. Maybe one of the bridges, probably. And now I'll trim the top of those posts off. So it's going to be about the size I want. And I'm just playing around with the spacing and stuff. I didn't want it to be tight. I wanted it to be loose, like they had a little bit of space between the boards. They're not craftsmen, that's what I'm trying to say. So for this base, I use my typical, you know, construction sand, uh, cover it with a little bit of this PVA glue, put the construction on, construction sand on, and then uh, just douse it in this watered down PVA glue. And that should give it a, like a little bit more of a, a little bit of a seal on top of it. Here I'm gluing the boards onto the post that's eventually going to go into the base. And you'll see here that I'm not really making it look nice and neat. I'm giving a little space between it. I want it to look rough. And then I thought it would be pretty cool to put a board across the top there, sort of like holding the other boards in place, giving a little bit more support. And then for painting, I use, uh, I think I just used brown for the base coat. Um, if I had to do it over again, I might have gone with a little bit darker brown for the base coat and then like a silver, a tan or like a suede maybe for the dry brushing. And here it is and I'm going through and you can see where some of the sand come off on the back there. But uh, once I get it all together, I'm going to put the board in. It looks pretty good. And there it is finished. With our goblins hiding behind it. Put them up on top there underneath the board. Using their base. I thought these turned out pretty good. Anyway, it's a nice, quick, easy project to throw scattered terrain on your board. And for some random encounters in the forest and stuff. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Tune in next week. And we try it again. Later. And that concludes another episode of Tabletop That. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, feel free to hit that thumbs down button. Leave comments below and hit that subscribe button if you're so inclined. And until next time, have fun and keep crafting.